picture the future of transportation, you're probably imagining Tesla factories in California, Volkswagen's gleaming labs in Wolfsburg, or BMW's innovation centers in Munich. That's where the automotive revolution has always come from, right? But you're looking in the wrong place. In just over a decade, China has done what many thought impossible, completely dominating the global electric vehicle market. Not just in sales, but in innovation, manufacturing, and raw materials. The numbers are staggering. Chinese companies now control over 60% of the world's EV battery production. They own nearly 80% of the raw materials needed to make these batteries. And in 2023, they sold more electric cars than Europe, America, and Japan combined. But here's what keeps Western auto executives up at night. This didn't happen by accident. This wasn't just good fortune or cheap labor. This was perhaps the most successful industrial strategy ever executed. Today, we're going to reveal how China pulled off this remarkable transformation and why the rest of the world might already be too late to catch up. To understand China's EV dominance, we need to go back to 2009. The global financial crisis had just shaken the world economy and China stood at a crossroads. Their cities were choking on pollution. In Beijing, air quality readings regularly exceeded the WHO safety limits by 20 times. Their dependence on foreign oil had become a national security concern, with over 60% of their oil being imported. And despite being the world's largest auto market, their domestic car brands couldn't compete with foreign manufacturers. Then, in a series of meetings that would reshape the automotive world, China's top officials made a decision that would prove revolutionary. Instead of playing catch-up in traditional cars, they would leapfrog straight to electric vehicles. What followed was unprecedented in scale and ambition. The government poured over $100 billion into the EV industry. They built charging stations at a pace of thousands per day. Local governments offered free parking and special lanes for EVS. And perhaps most crucially, they provided subsidies that could cut the price of an electric vehicle by up to 60%. But this was just the beginning. China understood something that Western automakers didn't. The key to dominating electric vehicles wasn't in the cars themselves, it was in the supply chain. While Tesla made headlines with its Nevada Gigafactory, China quietly built an empire around what powers electric vehicles. The strategy was brilliant in its simplicity. Control the raw materials, control the processing, control the production. Today, the numbers tell a staggering story. 90% of rare earth elements processed in China, 80% of the world's battery-grade lithium, 77% of global battery cell capacity, 60% of the world's graphite production, over 50% of the world's cobalt refining companies like KTL and BYD, once unknown outside China, transformed from small battery makers into global powerhouses. SayATL, founded just 11 years ago, now supplies batteries to Tesla, BMW, Volkswagen, and Ford. Think of it this way. Imagine if one country controlled nearly all the world's oil refineries, most of the drilling equipment, and the majority of gas stations. That's essentially what China has achieved with electric vehicles. But China didn't stop at manufacturing. They began innovating in ways that would surprise even their harshest critics. Here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. China didn't just become the world's factory for EVs. They started innovating in ways that left Western automakers scrambling to catch up. Take NIO, for example. While Tesla was trying to convince people to wait 30 minutes to charge their cars, NIO built a network of stations that could swap your entire battery in under three minutes. By 2023, they had completed over 20 million battery swaps proving that charging time didn't have to be a barrier to EV adoption. Then there's BYD's Blade Battery, a technology so advanced it survived being penetrated by nails and crushed without catching fire. This wasn't just incremental improvement, it was revolutionary safety technology that made previous batteries look obsolete. Xpeng took a different approach to autonomous driving. Instead of trying to make cars drive like humans, they developed an AI system specifically for China's chaotic urban traffic. The result? 
a system that could navigate complex intersections better than many human drivers. Chinese companies also revolutionized the in-car experience. Vehicles became smart devices on wheels, with advanced voice control, facial recognition, and even in-car karaoke systems, features that Western automakers are still trying to catch up with. But in 2023, China played its master stroke. They cracked the code on price. The Hongguang Mini EV, priced at just $10,000, became the world's best-selling electric car. BYD's SEAL undercut Tesla's Model 3 by $15,000 while offering similar features. And luxury brands like NIO started competing with Mercedes and BMW on quality, while still maintaining a 20 to 30% price advantage. How did they do it? The answer lies in vertical integration and scale. Companies like BYD make everything from their own chips to their own batteries, cutting out middlemen and reducing costs. Their factories can produce a new car every two minutes, operating 24 hours a day. Western automakers faced an impossible choice, either cut prices and lose money, or maintain prices and lose market share. Tesla chose the former, slashing prices multiple times in 2023. But for many traditional automakers, the math simply didn't work. And now, China is taking this revolution global. In 2023, China achieved something remarkable. They exported more cars than Japan, a milestone that would have seemed impossible just five years ago. Chinese EVs are already dominating markets in Southeast Asia, making significant inroads in Europe and eyeing the American market. But here's what's really surprising. They're not just competing on price anymore. Brands like NIO and Xpeng are positioning themselves as premium alternatives to Tesla and European luxury cars, and they're succeeding. In Norway, where electric vehicles dominate the market, Chinese brands captured over 20% of new car sales in 2023. In Australia, MG's electric SUVs became bestsellers. Even in Germany, the heartland of premium automobiles, Chinese EVs are gaining market share. So what happens next? The next decade will likely see Chinese EV makers strengthen their grip on the global market. They have the scale, the supply chain, and increasingly, the brand power to dominate. Western automakers aren't giving up without a fight. The US is pouring billions into domestic battery production. Europe is trying to secure its own supply chains, but they're starting from far behind, and China's lead is growing, not shrinking. By 2025, analysts predict Chinese companies will control over 70% of the world's EV battery production. Their cost advantage is expected to grow to 25 to 30% over Western competitors, and their technology lead in key areas like battery chemistry and charging infrastructure continues to expand. But perhaps more importantly, China has shown the world something remarkable. With the right combination of policy, investment, and innovation, it's possible to completely transform an industry in just one generation. The electric vehicle revolution didn't just happen in China, it was made in China. And as the world races toward an electric future, all roads seem to lead east.